102.7 WMOM. Welcome back and to Caleb in the afternoon. Coming up on the Hungry Howie Live Drive at 5, your chance to win Hungry Howie Pizza is just around the corner. But right now, a very startling story, to say the least. It's a couple weeks old, but I've not been ignoring it. I've really just been trying to comprehend it. Of course, studies coming out that the Triceratops, you know, the lovable dinosaur with three horns, may have actually not existed. It may just actually be the juvenile form of a different dinosaur called the Toasaurus. Which is very startling news because I know what a Triceratops is. I have no idea what a Toasaurus is. But of course, this isn't something I'm not a dinosaur expert. I can't really delve into the details, which is why we are bringing on a dino expert on the line. And in fact, actually, more specific, a Triceratops expert on the line right now to KOB in the afternoon. We're joined by Dr. Jared Timestra. Doctor, uh, thanks a lot for joining us today. And it must have been very startling news with the you know, announcement that the Triceratops may have never existed. Yeah, actually, Kevin, I have not been satisfied with this news at all. I don't agree with it, and it's quite frankly, whoever came up with it is a hack. Well, I mean, the people who came up with it, I'll tell you, are the two scientists, John Scanalia and Jack Horner from the Museum of the Rockies. Never, never heard of them. Never heard of them. Well, they, they are leading experts in, in the field, just as you are, sir, as well. Uh, they're from yeah. Montana. Yeah. They believe the Triceratops really is just a juvenile form of this Toasaurus, and this news really has to be startling for you, Doctor. Yeah, actually, Kevin, it is, it is quite startling for me. I've put in I've put in over 50 years developing my craft as a dino, specifically Triceratops expert. I have a master's from Harvard in Triceratops mating rituals, a bachelor's from Yale in three-horned dinos, and associates in everything Triceratops from Schoolcraft University. Well, uh, obviously you're very well versed in the subject, and I know, Doctor, you, you've written a couple books on the Triceratops, and you've studied them for hours upon hours and years upon years. Didn't you see this coming? I mean, shouldn't you have no, come across I, this? Kevin, I'm going to cut you off right there, because if I saw it coming, I probably would have stopped pursuing my dream, Kevin. I've written countless books. Uh, to name a few, 100% Certainty, Triceratops Exist, Volume 1 and 2. I've written The Best Dino Ever, The Triceratops Story, and it has three horns. Of course, it's a dinosaur. What else would it be? It has three horns. All of those, I know, are, are great titles. I've delved into a couple of really good bathroom readers, actually. Uh, it's so startling, this news, and I'm sure not more startling to anyone but yourself. But I know you're upset that a lot of your work's been ruined, but there's still other dinosaurs that exist. Can't you just move your specialty into a different dinosaur, Dr. Tynstra? Got it, got it. projects only on Triceratops, Jurassic Park, uh, Land Before Time 3, 7, and 11, and then also I did a guest appearance on the show Dinosaurs, where I actually did the voice of the Triceratops. Kevin, what other dinosaurs are there? T-Rex? Uh, I'm out. <laughs> well, there, there is a couple other dinosaurs, like the Velociraptor, and I don't know, there's probably a couple ones past that. There's, there's a large one, a boar. Is a boar a dinosaur? Because then I don't know. It has tusks. No, the boar actually is not a dinosaur. Well, Dr. Times for joining us. He was a Triceratops expert, which doesn't appear to exist anymore. And obviously, he's very angry about the news. But, you know, Doctor, is there anything else that you can fall back on? You know, all those years of school, is there anything else that you studied? Very smart man. Is there anything you can fall back on? Well, back in my day as a younger boy, I did a study abroad in, over in Ireland. And actually, I tried to follow up on some of the myths about the rainbows and the leprechauns. So it actually may be where I put most of my effort is with the leprechauns. Well, I'm sure you won't have any starry discoverments that leprechauns don't exist as well, Doctor. That seems like it's pretty foolproof. Uh, good luck lock on your up. studies. Lock it up. I don't want to hear it. Lock <laughs> it up. I'll be, the, I'll be the judge of that. Good luck on, on your studies. Thanks a lot for joining us on KLB in the afternoon. The startling news, the Triceratops, not actually a dinosaur. Never really existed. Actually, a Toasaurus. Thanks a lot, Doctor, and good luck in the future. Thanks for having me on. All right. That's obviously a very angry uh, Dr. Jared Tynster joining us on KOB in the afternoon. We'll step aside for a minute. Look at your news coming up after the break and more of your requests. The Hungry Alley Live Drive at 5 is just around the corner. I don't think a boar is a dinosaur. My mom does a lot for me, so I want to do something nice for her. I'm going to let her take me and my little brother 